Hello, my lovies. Welcome back. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, as you guys can see by the title, this is the, and the card on the table. Let me not forget that with the moon card. Uh, this is the what's hidden for my bull gang. So, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars. And you guys know that these readings may or may not resonate, okay? If it gives you confirmation, if it's your story, if it does resonate, comment below, all right? But you also know if it doesn't apply, just let it fly. All right, my loves? So we're going to hop in and we're going to see what the energy is, what the goings-ons is, what's behind the scenes, what's hidden, the things that you may not be aware of. Or you could be aware of, but look at you guys. <laughs> as soon as I picked up the deck, you could be aware of, but maybe you don't have tangible proof. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and see, um, you know, what's going on, what the energy is. Okay, um, I want to say I hope and pray that you and your loved ones are safe, well, and healthy. I want to thank you guys as always for supporting the channel, and I ask that you please continue to do so by liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. Okay, so I'm going to clarify the moon card with the tarot as well as the Lenormand. Okay, y'all know I love my Lenormand. All right, so um, <clears throat> as always, I want you guys to set your focus and your intentions on receiving truth and clarity as well as on receiving the answers to uh, any questions that you guys are holding near and dear to your hearts. Okay, so um. The signs that end up showing up and coming out in the reading, it could be that sign's sun or moon, okay? So just uh, keep that in mind when the signs come out. I mean, I'm going to say it anyway, but um, just, you know, always remember that. It could be their sun or their moon, all right? So let's get into it and let's see what's going on for my bull gang babies. Let's uh, see what's hidden. Or the illusions, the confusion, the delusion. <laughs> Let's see what's going on for my bull gang. All right. Let's get it, bull gang. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. The Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. Wow. The quickest moving knights in the deck. So I'm definitely automatically from the gate getting two different stories here as well. One, of course, is positive, and the other one is dusty as hell okay so with the wheel we have Sagittarius Taurus Leo Scorpio and Aquarius Sun and or moon with the Knight of Swords we have Gemini Libra Aquarius Sun and or moon and with the Knight of Wands we have Aries Leo Sag Sun and or moon bottom of the deck oh we see what i'm saying we got the ace of wands oh my goodness okay so the first story that i'm getting first energy that i am receiving is what's hidden what you're not aware of is that there is a new star coming for you guys especially along the lines of creative projects and endeavors there's a new star coming and i also feel that there are individuals that are wanting to invest in this new start with you, for you, okay? Um, yeah, whatever this new start is, it's time with the Wheel of Fortune. It's groundbreaking and it's literally going to change the course and the dynamic of your life. I love it, okay? And this is absolutely having to do with the work that you do, okay? With a craft that you mastered. 
the attention to detail that you have, your consistency, your time, your energy, your effort that you've been putting into making the changes necessary, okay? And being on your path and in your purpose. I love this for you guys. Oh my goodness. The universe is telling you, just be mindful not to speed ahead and go so fast that you make um, rash decisions that are irrational, okay? Make sure that you're not putting your foot in your mouth to make sure that you're paying attention to detail. But the universe is saying you're going to be moving forward swiftly on your path, on your journey. That's the Knight of Wands, the path, the journey, okay? Um, I love this for you. I absolutely love this for you. Um, for others of you, now, there's something that, and this is, you, you, you have no idea <laughs> that this is coming in. It's a new start or it's a new opportunity to do what it is that you love on a grander scale where you have people that are going to want to push you forward and invest in you, okay? I love that. For others of you, there is something that you started something creative that you have started with that ace of wands energy and you know because you've invested your time energy effort you've mastered the craft you know that this is what you're supposed to be doing with that wheel of fortune things are changing for you okay things are changing for you swiftly okay and you have individuals that are behind the scenes low-key trying to cause confusion, create illusions, okay? Pissed, pissed that you figured out what it is that you're supposed to be doing. Pissed that you've mastered the craft. Pissed that you're doing what it is that you love, okay? And pissed that you have people that are supporting you, that want to invest, that this new start is amazing for you, okay? So, you definitely have people that are swiftly moving forward to try to stop you on your path, your journey by slandering you, okay? Saying shit about you that's not true, all right? Uh, defaming your character. And they're coming from a place of pride and ego. And they're pissed off, okay? So for some of you, <clears throat> you have somebody that may be coming in very forcefully, wanting to take action to... Um, verbally attack you okay verbally attack you verbally attack the work that you do verbally attack your path your destiny your journey your calling your purpose your new start your creativity your new beginning your intuition they're pissed they are pissed and it's rooted and based in envy and jealousy. I want to see this Knight of Swords. Let's see. Okay, see? They're frustrated. Exactly. Exactly. For some of you, these may be individuals that you at one point in time used to deal with. And you realize these individuals were wasting your time okay so you assess the situation and you made a direction change and now they're pissed about it very frustrated okay because they were hoping that you continue to invest in them continue to waste your time with them so that they can be up close and personal know the ins and outs so they can try to stop you from the inside okay yeah see frustrated with this leap of faith that you've taken yep frustrated with that full car energy so now they're making foolish decisions and their actions are catching up to them with the full car we have aquarius and aries sun and or moon bottom of the deck we have look at that see what i'm saying the chariot cancerian energy cancer sun and or moon okay they're frustrated why because you are persevering, your willpower, your determination has you moving forward successfully, okay? But some of you, these individuals are at a distance from you. 
okay you're moving forward you're traveling some of you may be traveling the world but because of your willpower your determination your perseverance you're moving forward successfully with that chariot card and these individuals are frustrated frustrated because you've taken that leap of faith you know what your purpose is you're on your path your journey and they cannot stop you things may have slowed down or come to a complete halt for these individuals and they'll never admit it or tell you that okay but for some of them they wasted their time taking th that leap of faith to try to stop you because it ain't working out for them and they're starting to realize that they were foolish to do that fool okay they were foolish to do that because things have come to a complete halt for them mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. yep so this is what's going on behind the scenes okay for others of you what's going on behind the scenes um with that new start the universe is saying divine timing is now take that leap of faith to move forward okay some of you could have been frustrated okay but take that leap of faith things may have been going slow for you take that leap of faith take that leap of faith all right let's see what the lenormand says Yep, see, you're getting news and or information, okay? Um, some of you, this is the news and information that you're receiving behind what these individuals have been saying or doing. For others of you, and I hope not, but somebody may literally pop up at your house to try to start this drama, okay? Ha <laughs> ha! I know that's right. I heard y'all say, I wish a motherfucker would. Okay? Exactly. So what do we have on here? Yeah, look at that. This news, for some of you, this news or information is going to bring wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups energy. For others of you, this person is pissed because you're getting wish fulfillment. And now they want to uh, try to come and start some shit. Okay? Period. They are pissed because you're getting wish fulfillment some of you are about to get some news or information wait before i say that let me get the yeah see look somebody's also pissed because you know secret knowledge okay you have secret knowledge and you know secret knowledge some of you may know secrets about these individuals and they are pissed they are pissed that you know they that they are full of shit Oh, yeah. They pissed that, that you know secrets about them. <clears throat> They're pissed that you closed the book on them. You closed out those chapters and cycles with those individuals, and they are pissed about it. Some of you, you're getting, this is the downloads that you guys are receiving, the news, um, messages, information. That's a secret, okay? That's from the universe, from your archangels, your spirit guides, your ancestors. You're getting those downloads and those messages. And it's going to bring about wish fulfillment with that Nine of Cups energy. This is... Oh my goodness, look at that. See what I'm saying? That's the Ten of Diamonds, which is the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you, you're literally about to get some news or information about the legacy that you're creating... Or some money that is owed or due to you. This could be money from um, an insurance, money from a will, or an inheritance. I'm telling you now, somebody tried to keep this a secret. And you may have, I was going to say a processor. Could be a processor. You may have someone that literally shows up at your door to give you this information that you are entitled to this money. That somebody was trying to hide, keep a secret, or steal. Hello. Hello. And that's going to bring about wish fulfillment with that Nine of Cups energy. Oh, my goodness. For others of you, um, 
this could be family that's trying to do this okay this could literally be family that is trying to keep this from you trying to hide this from you or family that is pissed off that you figured out what it is that you're supposed to be doing and you're moving forward on that path okay and they could be pissed off because you're doing things your own way you're not listening to them bottom of the deck there it is look at that see what i'm saying this is the new start the new beginning with the child card i love it your new beginning your new start that was that ace of wands at the bottom of the deck not only that some of you um oh i just heard secret child there could be something about a secret child or or somebody keeping a child a secret or a, uh, a secret about a child or a child is going to tell you a secret and it could be about family something to that effect okay um yeah so you guys are having this new beginning and with the child card these individuals are being very immature foolish immature and foolish and, in, and instead of them you know trying to come and verbally attack you and slander you and 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 do all of these things to try to stop your forward movement and your progress <clears throat> they should be investing in their own selves figuring out what they're supposed to do okay no they want to be so involved with what you got going on it just amazes me so on uh the child card look at that we got the king of spades which is the king of swords so could be a uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, and or Moon that is being childish, that needs to grow up. It could be a, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, and or Moon that is the child or that is coming to give you this information, okay, about this money. Or this could be the one that's coming or wanting to or trying to come to your home secretly to try to start some shit with you, okay? Not knowing that they're going to get beat down they're going to get beat back right to their childhood. They come starting some bullshit with you. You know what I'm saying? Ooh-wee. They don't want them problems. They can try if they want to. Nonetheless, with this King of Spade energy, this is you guys receiving the truth about this new start. Re receiving the truth about whatever is being hidden. Okay? Receiving the truth about this um, money. Okay? This legacy. This, this abundance. Receiving the truth... Um, and wish fulfillment. I love it. I also feel like this is the universe telling you guys to make sure that at all times you're standing your ground and speaking your truth and not letting anyone interfere. This is also you guys uh, cutting out those individuals that are trying to stop your new start, your new beginning. Yep. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Yes, y'all. Let's go. Whoever these individuals are that are trying to stop you, they are literally wasting their time. Yep, they're wasting their time. Because whatever they're doing is not going to work, okay? It's going to backfire. And guess what? Them trying to waste your time, they are wasting their time. And see, this is why they're getting so pissed and so frustrated because nothing that they've been saying or doing is working. They're not changing people's perspective about you. They're not slowing you down. They're not stopping you. And everything that they are projecting is literally happening to them. And it's only making them more and more angry. Because mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. guess what? You're still moving forward. You're still creating that legacy. You're still getting blessed. You're still having abundance, period. So we have, look at that, conflicts, challenges, possible limitations. Yep. And this is what they're trying to cause, conflicts and challenges. And it's because they tried to cause limitations, but they're being limited. But you see these two individuals? Yeah, they're trying to make you argue and fight with individuals, trying to cause conflicts and challenges. They may be lying to people saying that you said stuff and you don't even talk to this individual for, for them to even know anything that you're saying. 
You know what I'm saying? And that's how you know whoever these individuals are. They're just trying to cause challenges and conflicts. Not only that, they're trying, we have possible limitations. They're trying to cause limitations in your life. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yup, look at this. Pain, sorrow, melancholy, heartache, misery, agony, woe. Unbelievable. Grief. Yeah. And this is what I'm saying. Not only are they pissed, but they feel the loss of you. They're in sorrow and they are grieving because, again, they were foolish in the decisions that they made to try to fuck with you. Because nothing that they've been doing has been working. And they're the ones that's receiving everything that they've been putting out. When someone's on their path and their purpose doing what they are destined, called, and meant to do, no one can stop that person but that person or God. Period. So if this, is, this person is carrying out their purpose, why does anyone think that whatever they say or do, spell work, black magic, anything is going to stop this? I, I don't get it. They are literally wasting their time with that Seven of Pentacles energy. That's why they're so frustrated. See, look, the end. Ha <laughs> ha, hello. Those of you that have been going through conflicts, challenges, limitations, pain, anguish, sorrow, agony, despair, sadness, anything, it is over. It is the end, okay? And now this renewal, it says the end, it says renewal. This renewal is happening. You see that sun shining? Because you guys are going to be renewed. You're going to be renewed. I love it. Bottom of the deck, here we go. Look at that job success work i'm telling you i am telling you this is regarding the work that you are doing those of you that have that nine to five you're gonna have job success okay whatever work this is that you guys are doing on your path in your purpose trusting it okay continue to trust it because you're going to be successful you are creating a legacy okay period you're creating a legacy and whatever these individuals that were trying to come up against you were doing, it is a wrap. It's Reynolds. It's over. Okay? Yep. And now look at the bottom of the deck. Relationship, beginning of romance. Yeah. Some of you, you're about to meet the person that um, you're, you're destined and meant to be with. Some of you, you're going to be working with the person that you are destined and meant to be with. Okay? For some of you, this new start okay, is going to be the beginning of a romance, <clears throat> beginning of a relationship, okay? Wow, beautiful energy, beautiful energy, okay? So, <clears throat> just know, these people are wearing themselves down, wearing and tiring themselves out, okay? And they are pissed off that you know secret knowledge, you have secret knowledge, especially those of you that are uh, in the metaphysical, that are healers, that do um, metaphysical work, your readers, your psychics, your mediums, you know what I mean? Those of you that know this secret knowledge, these people are really pissed off because you know their bullshit. You know their bullshit. And they cannot get away with gaslighting you, uh, manipulating you, doing anything wrong or negative to you. Not only that, you're seeing these people for who they are and that's what they're really pissed off about because they know they can't get away with it anymore. They can't. It's the end, okay? The end of that chapter and cycle, okay? You guys have reached the end of the book with these individuals and you're not about to reread that book because you know what is in it. You know the contents, the table of contents, <laughs> okay? Period. These individuals are grieving and they are pissed off because you are abundant. You're leaving a legacy. You're moving forward swiftly and it does not include their punk ass. Period. So keep uh, moving forward. Continue to keep your vision tunnel. Continue to remain your lovely. But most of all, be well. And I'll holler.